Easiest way to manifest is to love yourself because when you love yourself, you look at life completely different. What I know about this life is it's not easy, but it doesn't have to be hard either. When I finally learned that for myself is when I feel like I've mastered that part of myself. I was used to working hard and struggling with action, physical action to obtain everything that I desire. But when I tapped in to that higher part of me, that better version of me, and I found out that I didn't have to struggle so hard, all I had to do was allow. So I give love and I receive love endlessly and effortlessly. Love is the answer to all things. So I give love and I receive love endlessly and effortlessly. Love is the answer to all things. So I give love and I receive love endlessly and effortlessly. She said that love is the answer to all things. So she gives love and receives love endlessly and effortlessly. The first time I heard that quote, I fell in love because I was aware that the that love was one of the highest vibrational frequencies that we can reach as human beings. See, love will have you do things outside of your character. Love will force you to protect. Love will force you to defend. Love will put you in a position to give away all of your money. Love will force you to put your standards down. Love will allow you to sacrifice who you really are. So I truly understand why love is the answer to all things. So we should give love and receive love endlessly and effortlessly. What about love for ourselves? Should there be some type of stipulations on how we actually love ourselves? And um, is there should there be a point to where we don't love ourselves anymore? And if we don't love ourselves, how do we start loving ourselves again? And how relevant and important is loving yourself? Should we prioritize loving ourselves? Like when we talk about love, we talk about it from the premise of giving it away. We talk about relinquishing the power that we possess, but I'm here today to talk to you about self-love, about loving yourself and having that agape love for yourself. So you want to know how to manifest? The easiest way to manifest is to feel good. The easiest way to manifest is to love yourself because when you love yourself, you look at life completely different. There are certain things you won't tolerate. There are things that you will accept and you won't accept when you love yourself. When you love yourself unconditionally, when you possess that agape love. There are certain standards that you'll have for yourself when you have that agape love. But a lot of us don't know how to manifest through loving ourselves. See, the love that we have for ourselves shouldn't be taken off the shelf according to the situation. The love that we have for ourselves should be implemented in everything that we do. We should exuberate love for ourselves. The way that we take the time to put ourselves together, the quality time that we use to pamper ourselves, the way that we put our lotion on every day, the way that we embrace ourselves and know that we're worth preparing that big, huge tub with bath seeds and salt and bubbles and essential oils. The love that we have for ourselves be displayed in every single thing that we do. How we're patient with ourselves. We embrace ourselves. Even when people do us dirty. When we don't make the best decisions. We should love ourselves. We should love ourselves when our spouses come up short. When we don't stick to the plan. We should love ourselves when we allow our feelings to get hurt. We should love ourselves when we hurt others' feelings. We should love ourselves when we blame ourselves for messing up. We should love ourselves when people turn their backs on us. We should still love ourselves. We should love ourselves when we have unnecessary anger. 
We should love ourselves even when we don't fully apply ourselves. We should love ourselves even when we don't like ourselves at the moment. We should love ourselves even when we make mistakes. We should love ourselves when we realize we've wasted a lot of time. We should love ourselves when we realize we've taken the long way around. We should love ourselves even when we realize that we have flaws and we procrastinate on everything. We should prioritize loving ourselves because this is our life. This is our physical reality. We're only going to live this life one time. Loving ourselves isn't a question at all because love is one of the highest frequencies that we can experience as humans. And we are the creators of our reality. Creating the perfect lives for ourselves starts with self-love, self-acceptance, self-compassion. So how do you manifest the perfect life for you? You manifest the perfect life for you inward. All is within. You manifest the perfect life for yourself by starting a relationship with yourself and getting to know the inner being that you are and getting to know the inner being that you have and befriending him or her and accepting your physical at the highest standard, even with your flaws. Man is the maker of his own reality. Man creates his own reality through his daily decisions, his daily thoughts, his daily actions, his daily rituals, his daily perceptions, and his daily ideas. You create the perfect life for yourself by altering the way you look at yourself, you think about yourself, your perceptions, your perceptions of yourself, the ideas that you have about yourself by deleting the things that people have told you and creating your new story. That is how you manifest the perfect life for yourself. I am your manifestation coach, Kiana Devine. I am here to hold your hand. I am here to hold you accountable. I am here to be your accountability partner as you create the perfect life for yourself. If you are looking for a manifestation coach who will support you and be your cheerleader along the way, who will defend you in your journey and reassure you that you are on the path that you desire to be on, who will help you create a vision and a plan for your life. Click the link below to schedule a consultation. Namaste.